clear my throat there for a second. Still got morning morning throat. <laughs> <laughs> so still working on my haunted house. But I think it's coming out pretty darn good. I'm excited about that book. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> So I'm here again behind, can you see me? Behind Boomer? There I am. Uh, I'm having a little trouble seeing because I don't have my glasses anymore. I have a pair that I can kind of see. Um, so today I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. Uh, last time I had this problem, you know, it, the frames break and I'm kind of rough on frames because I have to take them off all the time and put them on me I haven't had my trifocals in what a year so I have bifocals and then another pair of glasses that I need when I'm in front of the computer and it hasn't really worked out that great and I keep taking them off and then I actually sit on them and that's what usually happens. The, the frames get broken. On the floor. They fall on the floor. So I just can't keep them on my head. I should have my trifocals back. And I've been getting, we've been getting our prescriptions through Zenny Optical, because I could, we could buy bifocals for like thirty bucks, which is unbelievable. But they don't offer tri. They don't offer trifocals. So, but I have all these trifocal lenses and no frames. Now, once I, I went to um, Walmart, and I did that yesterday, as you know, and uh, they would go through their frames and see if they could get a frame that would fit the lenses. Because I don't think they're, I think they're pretty normal size lenses. But um, yesterday, the guy said that they don't do that anymore. So, there's less money in it than making me, making new lenses. You get it in the store, it's going to cost, it's going to run $300 for a or pair more. of for a pair of um, uh, glasses that, I mean, if I could get them at Zenny Optical. So what I'm going to try and do today is go to, um, there's an optical place at uh, Kaiser Permanente, which I belong to, and I'll see if they'll uh, sell me some uh, frames. Because I bought, I got the original trifocals through them, at three hundred dollars a pop, you'd think that they would sell me some frames. They're not going to sell them, sell them to me for ten dollars like Zenny does. They'll probably it'll probably end up costing me a hundred dollars for the frames. So. But you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I'm blind right now. So. We can't have you blind. <laughs> you need to see. I have to I have to carry around three sets of glasses now, right now. Three pairs of glasses. <laughs> Reading glasses, computer glasses, and distance. So these are my distance right now so I can't see the camera. <laughs> I only have bifocals. Yeah, she's lucky. I can buy her glasses. You get her sunglasses, prescription sunglasses, just thirty bucks a pop. Not me. Oh well, I will try and get the painting finished, or the ceiling painting uh, finished today, and um, see what else I can do. My back is another interesting story. i um, been trying to see a doctor, but that's been difficult. I'm not going to go to urgent care because they won't know what to do. They'll just waste my time and uh, my money. But Val popped my back yesterday, and I felt great. For for about 12 hours, and then this morning it the pain started coming back. Now she popped it again, so we'll see how long it lasts. So, Doctor Val. Doctor Val, my chiropractor. <laughs> okay, everybody, back in the front room as usual, and I ran out of gas yesterday. I should have gotten been able to get this whole thing done. Not a very large area, but uh, with my back issue right now, I, uh, I die quickly. Now, one of the things I didn't want to do was uh, deal with this light. A couple things I could do, I could take it down. I decided I'm going to leave it up. 
have a um, whatever piece of art is going to be there. It's a it's an art spotlight. It's an old fashioned style, but um, I thought I would leave that up. And um, because it, one of the switches here uh, turns that on. There's two other switches there that I have no idea what they turn on. So I'll have to deal with that later. But, so I don't want to take it down, uh, I don't want to tape it, that's what stopped me yesterday. What I am going to do is um, use a, a painting knife, that's this right here. So, got a nice sharp edge. This is kind of tough to work with sometimes if you're, if you're lazy, so let's see how it works out. I'm just going to make, put it right up there so the paint doesn't get onto it. The important thing is to keep wiping it so because uh, it will pick up paint and then it'll get on whatever you touch it with so I will try that that's kind of a lazy way of doing it instead of taping but I really don't feel like taping and then I'll just hit the rest of the ceiling and that'll be done night again where we're going to say oh uh, Kevin got new glasses well not really new glasses I got new frames they but look at least, good at least I have trifocals back I took got, and, and they're not wire frames <laughs> yeah they're not wire so they should last you longer I hope so they look good on you could, could survive a couple of sits yeah <laughs> they look good on you I like them they make you look very intellectual I, I can see the camera you can. Yep. Too much stuff over here. <laughs> <laughs> Come here it's buddy. all my coloring stuff. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come here. Come here. So anyway, um we in the camera? Yeah, we're in the camera. I thought you said you could see the camera. That's what I'm saying. If you can see the camera, can't you see that we're in the camera? <laughs> we are now. We were in the camera the whole time. Oh, okay, dear. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to call it an evening. We hope you enjoyed something that you saw in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite, a share, leave us a comment, and please subscribe. And we shall see you all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.